everyone, welcome to today's video where we are going to be talking all about girls' names I love. And it's true, the rumors are true, we're expecting a little girl. I don't know if you can see that or not, but here's my bump. And she's coming within a few weeks now, so we're getting really close. We do have a name picked out already that I'm thinking we're gonna use that isn't on this list, but any of these other names we could potentially use if we have another girl in the future. So I'm not gonna say names I love but won't be using because potentially we could use one of these in the future. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kara Connolly. Here on this channel, we talk about all things parenthood, lifestyle, and pregnancy, especially right now while I'm pregnant. So if that's your jam, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out and I'd love to see you around in the future. So a little bit about this name list is that these names are going to be somewhat unique. Some of them are a little more popular, but I didn't even realize that until I was looking at the list of where they rank on the popularity scale. Like some of these I haven't heard a lot of, or I didn't realize I had heard a lot of, <laughs> but um, they're ranking kind of within the top 100, so a, a few of them. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Some are really unique. One I might've even made up, I think. And these come from my phone. I have a notes app that I've been taking notes on when I hear a name or think of a name that I just really like. For years, I've had this ongoing list. So these come from my personal name list of names that I just love. So again, we may be using one of these in the future, who knows. Another thing I realized when making this list was a lot of the names have A's and Z's in them so if you like A's and Z's this is gonna be your list and a lot of these names are also names of places so I didn't I never put that together that these are things that I just happen to like so hopefully you'll like them too so the first name that I really love for a girl is Azalea so this has Greek origins and it's of course the name of a flower that's really a common flower in the south especially of the United States and so if you like that sort of thing. If you like nature-y type names, this would be a really good one. The one thing is that Iggy Azalea, the rapper, is kind of popular right now. So if you <laughs> don't really want that association, that would be one thing I would think about. But again, the flower, nature in general, it's just beautiful name. It's strong and feminine at the same time and has an A and a Z in it. <laughs> a couple A's actually. So that must be why I like it. Oh, and this one ranks number 501 in the United States most popular names for girls. My second favorite girl name is Avalon. This name has Welsh origin and I have a teeny tiny bit of Welsh in me. Maybe that's why this one appeals to me so much, but it means place of paradise. And I just think that's really beautiful and I love the way it rolls off the tongue and you could have Ava as a nickname or Lonnie or something cute and trendy and popular like that too. So the nickname could be cute and trendy and popular, but this name actually doesn't even rank. It's not in the top most popular anything. So it is more unique, at least in the United States. So strong, lots of nickname options, and I think it just sounds beautiful. The next of my favorite girl names is Zadra, and I think I might have made this one up even because I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. Like when I looked for famous people with this name or where does this rank or what does this, what does Zadra mean? Like there was nothing there, so I think I made it up, but I think it's really pretty. It kind of sounds like Zadrian or, um, it's just like a good, nice, pretty name. And like I said, it's not gonna rank anywhere because I guess it's not a real name. <laughs> I must have made it up, but it is really pretty. So if any of you end up naming your baby Zadra, please let me know. I would love to know if you end up doing that. My next favorite girl name is Lorenza. So this one could be derived from the Italian version of Lorenza with an O, L-O-R-E-N-Z-A, but I'm spelling it differently, so it's actually not really Italian. So it could be a derivative of like a Lauren or a Lawrence, if you have that in your family heritage or lineage, um, a good way to honor someone, but also put like a modern or just more exotic sounding spin on it. This one did not rank, so this one is not in the top most popular. It's a little more unique. My fifth favorite girl's name, and by the way, these are not in any particular order. Like I didn't say my first favorite at the at the beginning, they're just, I'm just, 
put them down on paper. So they're in no particular order, but number five on this list is Azaria. So this one is Hebrew. It has origins in Hebrew and it means God has helped. And I just really like that that's the message behind the name, like no matter what God or higher presence you believe in. I just think that's a really cool message. And then Azaria is unique and strong and also feminine. So it's like a good combination of all of those things that I look for in a girl's name. And this one was not ranked, so it is more unique, less popular, less trendy right now. The sixth name on my favorite girl's names list is Alessa. So this one could be like a form of Alyssa or Alice. It has origins in Greek, German and English. It means help or aid, and it also means noble one. So again, good strong meaning behind it. And a unique version of Alyssa or Alice. So if you didn't want to have an Alyssa, but you love the name, then Alessa is a good option. This next name is in the top 100 most popular names, which I didn't realize at the time when I put it down on my notes, because I haven't heard the name that often, or at least I didn't think I had but the name is Isla, so I-S-L-A, and this has Scottish origin, and it means vibrant, as bright as the sun, brilliant, those kinds of things, which again, I just love. I think it's so pretty. It kind of sounds like island, or it makes me think of like tropical paradise type of a place, so in my mind, it's kind of one of those places type of names and it does rank 82 on the birth naming chart so fyi there it is becoming more and more popular even though maybe i just don't know enough kids who are being named like babies because i didn't realize i had kept hearing it but apparently i have if everyone else thinks it's pretty and naming their kids that too okay the next name on my favorite girls name list is zara i just think this name is so pretty we did have a dog named zara though so we probably can't use that for a kid's name even though I would love to it's so beautiful I should have thought about that before we named our puppy that but um, yeah this one has Hebrew origins and Arabic origins and it does place number 253 on the baby name charts most popular baby name charts so it's becoming more and more popular if you're into the more unique names. This one is growing in popularity, so FYI there. It means blooming flower and God remembers, so I just think those are so pretty and meaningful background. And the downside to this name, I would think, is that this clothing store, Zara, is becoming more and more popular. I mean, you just see it in all the malls and things, so if, if you're kind of shy about having a name that represents a clothing store too, that might be something to think about, but that's really the only downside I can think of. I've met one person who named their baby Zara and I just think it's such a beautiful name. The ninth name on my favorite baby girl's name list is Alaska. And of course, this is the name of one of the states in the United States. It is a Native American name and I just love the way it sounds. It means great land and Alaska is huge so that makes total sense, but it's also beautiful. So it has like a double meaning, like big, expansive and big and grand and beautiful. So I just think that's great. And I love that it's Native American. Like it is like a very bespoke American name, which there aren't many of those. So something to note is that in the last five years, it's doubled in popularity. So that trend will probably continue to go up. So again, if you're looking for a more unique name. This name is still unique. It doesn't rank in the charts or anything like that, but it is increasing in popularity. So if you name your little girl this, she won't be the only Alaska out there. I just think the name is really cool and strong again and pretty all at the same time. The 10th name on my top girl's name list is Graceland. And this is another bespoke American name. So it's uniquely American. It means land of grace, as you might've been able to guess, but it's not something that you've seen you know, too often it's very unique. It doesn't rank on the charts. And I think that this could be a gender neutral name too. So that's another reason I like it. It could kind of go either way, but yeah, Graceland, it's a little twist on the name Grace and one of those place names that apparently I love so much. This is like the third or fourth one already on the list. So there you have it. I guess I have a tendency for place name. So the 11th name on my list is Everly. I think this name is just gorgeous. It sounds so intelligent and rich and smart 
and beautiful all at the same time. And this name is English with German roots and it means as strong as a wild boar. And so in Germany, boars used to represent courage and strength. So it's really a compliment, even though today is saying, I guess, strong as a wild boar kind of sounds, I don't know, maybe not as glamorous as it once did, but it does have meaning. It does mean strength and courage. So that's really cool. And this is another one of those names that is climbing the popularity chart. So it's actually number 53 on the list, which on the most popular list, which surprised me. I just didn't realize that, but I think this has a lot of great nicknames like Evie, Evie, Ev, Lynn, you know, I just think there's the possibilities are endless here. It's a beautiful, strong, intelligent name. Number 12 on my list is Brisbane. So this is a very unique name for a girl. This, the name Brisbane is actually the capital of Australia, although the actual name is Scottish in origin, fun fact. And the name actually means someone, it's, it was known as a nickname for someone who had sustained a broken bone. And so I think that really stands for courage and strength and like being able to weather a storm kind of. So that's where I think of it in my little head. <laughs> and with when I was pregnant with my first baby, one of my relatives who sadly passed away, she came to me in a dream and told me this was the name of my baby. So I, we didn't end up going with that name, but maybe we will in the future. I'm not sure. Like I'm, st I love the name. It just, there were others that we loved so much more. So, well, not that much more because it's still on my top 15 <laughs> list, but yeah, I think this is great, beautiful. I do know one friend who has named their baby Brisbane and well, now she's not a baby, she's like eight. <laughs> but the little girl is just so sweet and beautiful and smart and strong. So I think I associate that with the name as well. So not sure if you do that. I feel like we all do that. We associate people we know with the names. So this one has a really positive inclination for me. The 13th name on my list is Scarlet. So I just think this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous name. And apparently a lot of other people do too, because in recent years it has risen to number 20 on the top popularity charts. So it's becoming more and more popular. I didn't realize that. I don't know too many baby or young kids named Scarlett, but I believe it. And I think Scarlett Johansson, the famous actress, has probably had something to do with that because this name has just boomed in popularity in recent years, whereas it really kind of stayed the same for so long until the 21st century. So I'm going with Scarlett Johansson had something to do with the increase in popularity. And Scarlett, of course, means red in color. So that's kind of cool. You know, you can think about all the different things red means, like passion, love, you know, all of those kinds of fiery things. So yeah, I just love the name Scarlet. The 14th name on my list is right up there in popularity and it is Aria. I love this name so much. It's actually number 19. So Scarlet was 20, Aria's 19. So apparently I'm liking these really popular names along with everyone else. Aria means air or song or melody. And I think that's really, really cool, really beautiful and has a lot of meanings within that realm. It's also one of the lead characters in my favorite books and favorite show Game of Thrones, which has probably had something to do with its increase in popularity in recent in history. Yeah, I just love the name and her character in the books and the show is just strong, independent, and really comes in as significant, especially with like saving people <laughs> at the end. So it's really cool. And I think it just rolls off the tongue nicely. And it, there's a lot of nicknames with this one. Ari comes to mind, Rhea, Riri, you know, like it could just have so many different options. So I love this name. And by the way, Aria is of Hebrew and Italian origin, if I didn't mention that before. Final name on my favorite girl's name list is Capri. And this is one that is of Italian origin. It means island and it can also mean whimsical and playful. And I think that's really cool and what you want in like a little girl and, and probably into adulthood. You know, you don't want to lose your whimsical, playful nature. So I think that is just 
really sweet. And my aunt keeps suggesting Capri as a name for a baby girl. So that one might be why it's top of mind too, but I just think it's gorgeous. I love that it ends in an I. I think there's a lot of cool nickname options and it's so rare. It's not on any of the popularity charts. It doesn't even rank. So that would be a really beautiful one. But yeah, when I think of Capri, I think of just beautiful islands and blue, blue water, white, white sand animal, you know, marine life. So flowers along the coast, mountains, maybe, you know, I just have a beautiful vision in my head of what that, what that is and then what that name could be. So really positive association there. So with that, those are all of my top baby girl names that I love so much and could potentially be using if we have another girl in the future. So, um, keep an eye out for that. <laughs> like and subscribe if you learned anything if you liked any of these names and comment below if you have any names on this list that you loved or were already on your list or others that are kind of along the same lines that you love as well i'd love to hear from you thanks so much again for watching we'll see you next time bye